everything is just blah, blah. Oh my god, Khan, I I had to get up and leave the room. I, I forgot that even happened. I got up and left the room during that scene. That was too much for me. Rod, have you read the comic? It is so much worse than the comic. I haven't read all of them, but I've read the first ones, and whoa. It is way... I mean, they really toned it down for the show, believe it or not. Do his co as he... He has a standing mic down. Wait, wait. He has a standing mic down at his monitors instead of a microphone arm. Oh, wait. Oh, I wonder if this one would do that. I wonder if my gate would work because that would be amazing. I've thought about just getting a desk just to put it right in front of me and talk into it. I've thought about doing that too, but I might look at Co. I might ask Zach to ask Co. That's a smart idea. Good thing. I'm going to write that down. Hold on. See, this is a little, my little boy ghost. I'm a real boy. No, you're not. Oh, all these old men um, smothered me in this pond, and now they feel bad. Dude, the dolphins too much. Dolphins are like legit IRL rapey, though. I mean, we all know that. I move around a lot. That's why I was thinking like having one on the desk that I could just pick up and move with me would be nice, because. I mean, it's crazy that this one just recoils all day. It drives me nuts. I don't know. If you guys have, like, ideas, I'm going to write down. Just hit up Co. I'm not close with Co, but Zach is. <laughs> I would feel very weird trying to talk to a celebrity like Co. But I can make that man do it. He ain't got no shame. Oh, God, Crimson, you, I haven't done anything on the Prime sale yet. There's nothing I need, so it's not... Well, I need a mic arm. That's pretty much... I'd like a mic arm. I'd like another webcam. If another one of these went on sale, I'd probably pick one up, because having one is weird. Oh, it worked. Of course it worked, you dunce. Um, they just go... Oh, 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 oh. Celebrity like Ko, I have a secret idea that Ko's like Zeke off air. Dude, he's not. Not to like out Ko. Like, he's legit a sweet man. I know. Kills, I'm looking at underwear and sports bras as well. <laughs> I feel you there. That stuff always good to pick up, though. That are socks. Really, Jax? I feel like I just, I like to get up and like do spider stuff, do art stuff, move my head. I move my body around a lot. So sitting still in front of a directional mic like this is kind of torture with a mic arm that doesn't have any other direction other than forward. So it's just like, this isn't the end all be all. It's not ruining my life. I just, you know, looking for options. Rod, this is true. I've found that absolutely true. It is. No, Jax, I absolutely feel it. Like, when you want to talk, sitting like this, and I can hear my own voice. I have my mixer feed it back to me just so I know how loud I am and if I'm, you know, fucked up. So I can hear exactly what it sounds like. When I do this, you don't hear anything, and it's the worst. So I have to sit like this. <laughs> I feel your pain, spiritually. <laughs> She's stretching. Um, ahem, forgive me, my boy. I bet you are very confused right now. You're in the Forgotten Monastery, and we are the ones who smothered you, summoned you here. We call ourselves the Keepers. <clears throat> keepers of knowledge of all kinds, that is. Although these days it feels more like we're keeping the whole kingdom of Midra together. <laughs> yeah, you basically have to snog the mic. And if you turn your gate up down lower, you just hear every fucking sound. You'd hear, like, my controller clicking. I'm not sure how much of what happened before your arrival here you rem remember, like the smothering. But your kingdom desperately needs your help. Pleasantries will have to wait, I'm afraid. For there is no time to waste right now. Then why are you talking so much? Again. 
Your spirit is tethered to this site. In order to move freely outside it, you will need to possess a body. Hmm. I think it's their heads. I don't know. Um, I don't know what my face... Oh, there's my face. I am Peter Pan. Cute. Okay. Watch. <gasps> Sexy. Just like that. Yes. Mmm. Stroke it harder. Oh, yes. Spit on it, little one. <clears throat> now try switching between your spirit and physical forms. Wonderful! Now then, take off your clothes and bend over. On to some combat training. If you will, pick yourself up and follow me to the dojo. I was just about to say, you're going to disappear after you say follow you. Oh my god, look at the cute stones. I love them. They have different faces. Some are waiting for a dick and some are, they got some dick. It's like pre and post. I like it. Precious. <gasps> oh. She's a mess. Did I ever tell you guys in Thailand I got to do this? Like the Lantern Festival? It was incredible. Blockheads. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> Odious. Uh, it kind of feels like that a little bit, huh? Hello? Nope, can't talk to you. All right. Speed racer. Papa? There you are. Let's go some basic combat moves, shall we? First, attack the dummy with your primary attack. That's right. Your primary attack can be charged by holding down the button. Go on. Try it. Now, attack the dummy with your secondary attack. <laughs> oh, smash cheese. You put your left foot in. Oh. Offense and defense must always exist in equilibrium. Parry the rotating dummy's attack. I want to parry your dick, Grandpa. How many? How many times do I? Do I? Okay. Forever. Tutorials annoy me. I'm just old. Mario didn't get a fucking tutorial. You died. You learned by death. Is this gonna be forever? Oh. <laughs> oh, this is like tells you about everything. Shadow. Primary. Oh, that's what. That's like your class. That's the person I possessed. Yeah. Healing? Spirit allows you to recover some health when possessing new bodies. The amount of life you regain depends on how much spirit you have. Oh, is that my blue bar? Blue bar. Blue bar. Blue bar is fun to say with your mouth pieces. Blue bar. Blueberries. Not bad. Let's mix it up a bit now. Take your clothes off. Bend over. Oh. How do you... Oh, okay. Madam, don't touch me there. That is my no-no square. Stop. Don't touch me here. Keep your penis out of here. It's rape. Let us move the theory to practice now. Try measuring up against my cock. I win. That thing you picked up is called a testicle salad. It's used to regenerate your health when you possess a new body. I will decrease your... Wait, I will decrease your health. Bitch, what? I will decrease your health so you can see for yourself how it works. Why would you do such a thing? What a cunt. You can possess the bodies of defeated enemies. Each body has randomized values of health. This is what I was talking about earlier. The white value next to each statistic... Statistic... <clears throat> the white value next to each statistic represents how good a certain stat roll is. 
Red and green values represent the comparison between the body you are currently inhabiting and a prospective new host. I'm a parasite. Who's your daddy? Oh. Splendid. I reckon you've earned a reward, dear boy. Take your pants off. Bend over. You'll find those essence stones spread across the land of Midra. Sit on one. Spin about. See how you like it. Our monks have infused them with various abilities. When you come across them, break them open to release the essences for a bit of extra help on your journey. <laughs> this is one of my favorite classes. It is fun. Oh my god, it's a Chuck Testa. Stop it. It is. It's testistic. <laughs> Testies have ruined my speech today. I mean, I see everything as overtly sexual. I didn't think I did until I started dating Zach. And like every time we watch a movie together, he's like, why is everything gross to you? And I'm like, why isn't it to you, you perfect childhood creature? I'm going to cheers. This weed is delicious. It's very mellow, I like it. And by mellow, I mean it's not like strongly flavored or making me overtly stoned. Stop it. <laughs> Tessie got your tongue. That's nuts. <laughs> oh my god, the squirrel from yesterday. <laughs> Everything comes full circle. <laughs> I do agree with Zach. There needs to be more 80s level nudity in horror movies. I'll take some bait and taco for some taco. Me too. I want some point I want more pointless nudity, less sex scenes. Like, I loved watching Spartacus, but it was always because someone was furiously fucking someone else that you saw some delicious titties. Very infrequently where they just awkwardly out because someone was dying. And I'm, I'm more into that. Like, I want the titty to be the accident party titty, you know? Normalized body hair. Word on that. For all the everythings. Everybody. The, the shaved, like, glossy body... Nobody, like, I don't care who you are. Nobody has, I've dated people who have no body hair. They have three chest hairs. It's still there. They have the little nipple circle. It's there. Like, everybody's got body hair. The This glossy body shit. Or the no stretch marks. When's the last time you saw someone with stretch marks in a movie? Show me. Um. Now, raise your hand if you don't have a stretch mark. They, it's not real. Like, I have them... I have tiger strips running up my sides because I grew tall way too fast. Everybody gets them from growing. But I've never seen them on someone in a movie. Or anything. I've never seen a... Where are they? I see them on men who have big biceps. I mean, I see them on people who have big biceps. Everybody gets them. I, where are they? What? And that makes us feel gross and icky and makes us feel like we need to hide our bodies when, in fact, we're normal and that's the freakish thing. Like, how... Are you plat? Are you rubber? Barbie? Like, what happened? Like, Friday the 13th, word. Pointless tit out. Or, like, you know, the person was taking a shit, and that's why their dick is flobbling while they're running away from the porta potties and the killer's chasing them. Like, I don't want to see sex scenes. If I want to see porn, I'll watch porn. Sex scenes in movies make me fast forward more than anything. <laughs> All right, let me see. Ooh, primary damage increased by 15. <clears throat> Critical damage increased by 15 or physical damage. I want that. That's usually it's only like increased by 10. Hey, the mock. <laughs> you can, I mean, if it's consensual. Sometimes this shit has stuff in it. Oh, I forgot I'm in a tutorial. <laughs> That ought to do it for now. I believe you're ready to begin your journey. Take your pants off. Bend over. Go on, then. We'll talk soon. Oh, good luck. Nipples without boobs would be... I mean, boobs without nipples are... What... Honestly, like, we've all seen the music video with Marilyn Manson. A tit without a nipple is, uh, is, is emotionally alarming. None of us enjoy that. We all go, oh, hmm. Hmm. But for some, and it's like, without them, 
we wouldn't be here because it's literally how we fed our young. Like, I just don't, it's the, it's weird, huh? It's very strange. I read a book way back in the day that talked about how different cultures tabooed different parts of the body. <clears throat> I can't remember other than ours, but in Western culture, it's always been the nipple. Always, for, for like, millet, for a long time. I don't know, for a long time. It's interesting. I think I read it was like in the Middle East, in a lot of Africa, it was the midriff. Like, showing your stomach or your or your navel was like, oh. which is weird because like, that's where your umbilical cord like rots off your body. You think it was Catholicism? I wouldn't doubt it at all. Let's go inhabit a different body. I have played this a bit. I stopped myself because I wanted to play it. Ooh, I think that's an archer. Let me murder you. And now I'm a lady. And then I can be not a lady. Then I can be something else. It's fun. I don't want to spoil it. I'm not going to say what's in the game. Uh-oh, bitch, what's up? He is an archer. <gasps> oh, he's better. He has better health, but... Mm, oh, it's not that much of a steep dive. I'm going to take it. Oh, there's also, like, secret... Oh, right there. Look at this. You can only see some stuff in spirit form. Secrets. Oh. <gasps> we have so much... Do I want to read any of this? Ghost vision. You can only see shit in ghost vision. Elemental enemies. That's pretty self-explanatory. We've all played video games before. Tribesmen. Ooh. Midra is a vast land which counts myriad... This is so much to read, though. Um, which counts myriad distinct peoples amongst its inhabitants. Of particular interest are the ancient tribes whose residence in faraway corners of the kingdom is paid to... Wait, is paid? Is said, Katie, is said to predate its founding. Tribesmen are semi-nomadic hunter-gatherers who pride themselves in living off the land, crafting tools, weapons, and armor from animal hides, bones, fangs, and claws, which gives them distinct intimidating appearance. Really, though? Hmm. The tribesmen fighting style is brutal in simplicity. They tear away at their opponent with abandon using their superior. So it's Wolverine. Okay, we got that. Oh, <gasps> Deadeye. That's the archer. I, I just noticed she has those shoes on, those block shoes. Those are sick. Deadeye is known as such because of her incomparable skill and accuracy when it comes to archery. She can strike from far, from as far as she can see and place her arrows exactly where she places her eyes. Oh. Her domain over the bow and arrow does not stop there, for she is also the fastest archer in Midra. No sooner has she placed an arrow, or two more regularly, on the string than she's already let them loose. Ooh, you can... Does that mean I can upgrade her? Hmm. Hmm. Finding another target and setting loose again with inch-perfect accuracy before there can be any reaction. Although Deadeye is naturally more comfortable engaging foes from afar, her reflexes are such that she has turned archery into a viable close quarter style, especially when she lures enemies closer before ambushing them with a rain of multiple arrows. Sick. I, it sounds like, it looks like Mirda. I was pronouncing it like shit. I was. I, I, I was. I'm sorry. I totally was. <gasps> Bitch, why? <laughs> Not today. Let I wash your body. But my body. My body's telling me yes. Oh. <laughs> me. You're not better. Bye. I'm an elemental. I think I'm electric because I'm yellow. She's electric. <laughs> Why are you so mad? <laughs> <gasps> He's better. Give me that dick. Not today, Sheila. Twitch already punished the scammer. I'm glad. That's not okay. That shit is. Oh man, I can't. I can't. I don't like scams. I don't like pyramid schemes. Like that shit pisses me off too. I don't know. People need to be more together and less fucking just out for one and only. The Shadow. The Shadow prides himself in his mastery of the martial arts, and over his years of training, he hits people with a big stick. Wow, that one was miraculously shorter. Crazy. <gasps> a demon! Be my friend!
Elemental Touch. Oh. Passive skill. After successful use of skill that deals elemental damage to an enemy, there's a 20% chance to give player elemental power of the same element. Interesting. Swift Arrow. Passive skill. Executing dash fires an arrow, dealing 10 damage for his dash direction. Passive skill. Using a skill generates 20%. I want that. <laughs> like a little dick spark. <laughs> Let me touch you in your no nos. So, you know what I mean? But earlier I was talking about how it's not linear. It's more of like a little open level that you can explore as far as you want. But as soon as you find the exit, you can take it whenever you want. Even if you haven't, like, cleared the level. So, that's how it's different. I don't know what you would call that. It's still a roguelike. Um, elemental damage received is reduced by 8%. Critical damage is increased by 15. Range attack damage is increased by 10. Usually that only says 4%, so I'm going to take it. I don't know why it's higher, but I like it. Would you like a fuck? Not today, Satan. Ah! Non consensual touching. Oh, I got a special. She's electric. <gasps> Hikaru, cheers, love. Yada, cheers. Is it 420? Oh my god, cheers. I actually have a bowl too. I just think I think I have a bug bite on my neck. I just felt a bump and it itches. Ouch. I never I don't think I played gunfire. It sounds really familiar though. Like I can almost see like what it like the the game art. Hmm, cheers. Sacrarion, absolutely. Yep, those are the only ones I'm okay with, to be honest. <coughs> like, you've compound fractured your shin, and, like, the other person is delicately mending, you know, tending to your dressings, and somehow you manage to have a romantic fuck. That's the best. I'm like, 